Hey, what is up, everybody? This is No One Shocker. I'm at you with yet another Star Trek Fleet Command video today. We're going to be talking about infinite incursions, how's it work, and how the information behind it is. Sorry if I'm not in my more exuberant state. I currently have COVID, and you're to hear me take a lot of deeper breaths right now because of I have COVID, and it's really hard to speak. But I want to get this video out there for you guys. I want to give you guys <coughs> another flip side of the coin, since Rev is server 20, as you guys see right here. Server 20. Nah, it's not even highlighting it, great. But anyways, Rev Server 20, and we're going to, currently going against Server 20 right now. And I want to show you what the information is behind it, how does Infinite Incursions work, what the events look like, what my thought processes on it are. I know they haven't really been like the most excited about it. And I've been actually having a decent time with it, to be honest. I'll give you my whole opinion throughout the video. But before we get into the video, don't forget to like, that subscribe, that bell notification down below, remember all that in the comment section down below or well in the seat of more description come join my discord under that is going to be some uh donation links we have paypal cash up and venmo if you want to help support the channel they did a big shout out to misty big shout out to uh cory they did donate thank you very much um don't forget to follow my twitch whenever i do go live on twitch it's a little bit random lately i'm trying to get better at that for you guys i hope my voice ain't too low in this video i'm trying not to uh stress my voice out right now i'm on my i think fourth day of having covid and i am really really uncomfortable right now i don't feel good all right so how does infinite incursion works so let's go over the base stuff of infinite incursion we want to look first at our material pile and we don't have to look at our material pile look at the store make it easy for us so i don't have to search so as we look here there's these incursion conduits you need 10 incursion conduits to go to the other server you don't need any to come back to your server so you should have earned them through gameplay, the last events. If you didn't, you might have to buy them to jump back and forth, right? That's a simple thing. All right, so let's actually look. How do you get to your other server when you're actually trying to, well, do the infinite incursions? I know a lot of us aren't happy about it, but the PvP part isn't horrible or horrendous or bad. It's not bad, but to get to another server, so it'll tell you right here. You see here on the bottom right side, it says crossover. You click the button, it transfers you over to that server. Your game will restart. You'll see your splash screen, and then you will be on the new server. And once you're on the new server, you can do your either your attacking events or when you, if you have to come back, like I did earlier, do your defending events. And everything scores during this event. As you see, I only have 10 more left, so I have one more token to go. And you see your damage dealt. My big head is in the way. Let me cut it off for a quick second for you guys to find my webcam so you see it's right here and then you have rated resources so it goes repair steel titanium bill rat all the general stuff then we have defending ones when you're on that let me turn my camera back on to put it back up so that's when you do it the prize the base prizes if you win are going to be 100 build speed for this run um two una shards and 750 of the the uh, subspace relays those are a base thing for it that's like basically a level for that building but if you really do want to push into it let's go look at the infinite incursions events themselves so as we see here here's the basic one it is going to be um complete the incursion event right there complete it so if you complete the sms you get a thousand points toward it and if you pvp you get points toward this which gives you the subspace relays and una shards which isn't too bad um and then we have the champion one the xlb it's another one if you want to go for it, it's pvp wins versus defends you get points you get well more subspace relays as you go up in level which i do like the subspace relays um because i do want the building then we have damage dealt another one that gives you una shards and a frame which ain't bad damage dealt usually the whales will take that event but i think these are actually bracketed correctly thank god scopely um and then the one i've been doing earlier today is rating so i rated already 76.5 billion from server 20. thank you for server 20 for letting me pull my u-haul up and unload your bases that is fun because i'm gonna be going back later and continuing to unload the resources from you guys thank you very much rap server um you get materials if you raid or you get points for rating or as well as defending so if one of their team actually leaves their shield down while they're on your server you could rate them and get points 
I think they're less points for while defending. So got to go over and raid, take the resources. And this is the one way you can get mass amounts of these um, subspace relay upgrades to upgrade your building, which that's one thing I am going to be by, uh, fighting for to get mine up there because I do want to get there. As you see, this event is a three hour long SMS. So what the event is, is PVP, of course. So you go to the specific system that is designated for you. Mine is um, X5 TKV, which gives you points for winning or gives you points for losing. As you finish the event, you get materials, uncommons, which isn't bad. Get a repair speed up, which ain't too shabby. And you get some lunar shards. I've already done it twice today, so I've already finished it twice. I have a third one coming up and there's gonna be a fourth one. So remember these are in six hours increments. It has been, well, not bad, but it reminds me of like when the game actually started, the six hour increment events, not fun, but doable. Um, my thoughts of infinite incursion so far, it's been not bad. Um, let me see if I can find a system. If they're out here in here raiding, actually, no, I can go to Pajem because I know they're raiding currently in Pajem. So if we look at Pajem, this is what it looks like when you're on your server defending as you see here they get the highlight around them all around them saying that's your enemy that's the people invading you click on their thing it'll tell you rival server 20 right there and you can still talk to them you can still pm with them you can still talk to them in gc um there has been lag but i think it's been getting better thus far um this morning there's been like it was a little rough this morning it wasn't horribly rough there's lag at the beginning and then there was some things like this king guy he let's say he had a, a blue bubble around him showing them that he was uh ours i guess when we're on the server i think that's what it's supposed to show up as but it doesn't so in this one it shows you who your enemy is even when you're zoomed all the way out here in space so that's one thing about it at least tells you who your enemy is if you're in any system above level 20 and above then your shield drops and it does drop and when you go back to under 19 your shield comes back so that's cool. You can go out, throw your base out there, do some fighting, do some raiding, and then jump back. And you're back to normal, do your normal daily thing. That's what I've been doing today. I've been jumping back and forth, even when I'm on server 20 or on my own server, jumping back and forth to do this event. I know some servers are having issues. I saw so many messages saying this 50 is destroying us, this 60 is destroying us, this dead rex is coming after us. So far, 10 versus 20, we're not having much of that issue, but we're having that like uneven battlefield or uneven fights we haven't had that much yet but it's been fun in my opinion i i, I was really against infinite incursions i'm still not 100 percent with it but it's not been a bad event if it's a bi-weekly thing so every two weeks it's not going to be as bad one day every two weeks i can i can hang but if it's more than that no thank you no thank you it's been it's a good thing i do like the building i do like una shards i do like the idea behind it i think there's some kinks that can be worked out of it but it's not been bad um besides that my um person i've been hunting he hasn't showed his face around love you rev come pvp with me please but anyways it is no one shall signing off don't forget to like that subscribe that bell notification down below below that and to see more come join my discord under that are three donation links of paypal cash app and a venmo um, don't forget, it is no one shout it is for the cash shop in Venmo. Remember, this is my main source of income. Um, besides that, I love you guys. Have a wonderful day. Peace out. Later on.